Hey, how you guys doing? This is William Myers from Mass Outdoors, back at you with another video. And today we're going to do something that we don't really do very much on the, this channel, is talk about mushrooms. I've gotten a lot of comments on, hey, you know, you do all these plant identifications, you do all this, why not do mushrooms? And, uh, you know, I started early in the channel thinking that I wasn't going to show too many mushrooms because, you know, the stuff, it's a lot more risky in my opinion than wild edibles you know be honest with you there really isn't that many poisonous plants out there uh, and they're actually can be kind of difficult to find they're the, the you just really you, once you know them and can identify them you're really not going to run into them too much and you're not going to run into too much of a trouble with mushrooms there are far more species out there period edible and poisonous than plants um, mushroom fungi period out uh, outnumber plants uh, 10 to 1 in some in some areas, you know, 5 to 1 to 10 to 1 in some over 5 million species of fungi have been identified right now and there's species out there that are still being identified. So, you know, it's something that I was hesitant to do, but with all the requests that I've been getting over the last several years, um, I, I, I've decided to actually start doing a series on some of the mushrooms that I use medicinally and, and just for food. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to start out with one today. All right, so what we're going to start out today with is uh, the turkey tail mushroom, or to me it says various color. This is a very important mushroom in my opinion because I use this uh, as well as chaga pretty much on a daily basis for medicinal uses uh, for immune system uh, control, boosting. Uh, there's a lot of medical studies out there that back these claims. One thing that I don't do on this channel is you know, express claims that have no scientific backing whatsoever. There's a lot of things that I read, like uh, books by Culpepper, etc., etc., that make some claims that are, that are, one, they're very old claims, and two, this is, scientifically we just literally cannot back them up. But these we can back up. There's many, many, many studies done on a turkey tail mushroom, uh, amadou, chaga, things like that, that support the claims that we make and the, the, that I make. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I use them on a daily basis. But uh, I use this mushroom that I'm getting ready to show you in teas. I use it in uh, alcohol or ethanol extractions. Uh, and like I said, on a daily basis. All right, so when we're talking about turkey tails and the identifying features of turkey tails, we need to be aware that there are some look-alikes out there to this mushroom. So there is the false turkey tail, you know, very convenient name, right? And it looks very similar to a turkey tail, but we're going to go through some of the key identifiers to the, the actual turkey tail, and that'll help us out with uh, identifying the false turkey tail. I've been walking around here for about two and a half hours, and even though false turkey tail is about as common, if not more common than the turkey tail, I actually haven't been able to find any around here. So that's an unfortunate thing. Might be able to roll in some pictures, possibly, of that. Um, but like I said, once we go through the key identifiers of the turkey tail itself, you'll be able to, we'll be able to have a little bit of a talk about the, the, the identification of false turkey tail. Also, something that looks rather similar to turkey tail is the violet tooth polypore and there are some very distinct features that will definitely allow you to say okay this is not a turkey tail this is a violet tooth polypore etc etc so let's go ahead and go over here and look at the turkey tails and see some of the key identifiers of this mushroom all right guys well this is the turkey tail mushroom to me says various color and you see it all over this down log and you see it on down logs mostly because this is a saprophyte which means it gets its nutrients saprophytically this is classed as a white rot fungus which means that it consumes and helps break down the lingden uh, cellulose hemicellulose which are cell wall compounds of down trees which <clears throat> these are incredibly important to the ecosystem because if it wasn't for fungus like this and the many other fungus like this you would just have debris literally just covering the the forest floor all right guys so this is a, a, at least for this time of year this is a pretty decent specimen of the turkey tail you can see these persist year round but you can see why it's called a turkey tail because it exactly looks like a turkey's tail those concentric rings of color 
usually you'll see white on the ends this time of year maybe get a little darker a little yellow but one of the key features of this mushroom is that if you flip it over you'll see under here you, you'll see that it's white this is an older specimen so up here you can see that it's turned you know, a little yellow a little brown this is a dried out turkey tail but that white color there and if you can see so if we flip over the turkey tail we can see that it doesn't really have gills it has all these hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of little pore surfaces and this mushroom is a polypore there's a lot of specimens in the polypore family this is one of them and that's how it drops its spore it's from these little tubes that are on the under surface so a false turkey tail will just be completely flat all the way around and almost like a cork uh, consistency it doesn't have this pore surface and it's not white on the other side it'll be more yellow and flat and I really wish I could find a false turkey tail around here but it doesn't like I said I've been looking for quite a while I haven't been able to find find anything so as you can see if I look over here there's some more turkey tails and it is May right now and these are pretty dried up this isn't really the growing season uh, here in about 30 days if not a little bit more maybe into June we're gonna start seeing some fresh growth but you can see on this down log turkey tail is consuming the tree getting its nutrients from the linden the cellulose and hemicellulose of the tree itself You know, like I said in the beginning of this video, turkey tail is a very important mushroom to me. I use it almost on a daily basis as part of my health schedule, you know, as along with uh, chaga and uh, extracts from amadou, even mushrooms that don't grow around me like um, agaricon, etc, etc. Um, you know, I source those out from companies that I believe in that I trust and I use those on a daily basis as a uh, host defense basically a preventative uh, even a manager of some sorts you know this mushroom is really really good for medicinal purposes like I said there is scientific fact that backs these up I don't really like talking about medicinal purposes if there hasn't been a lot of studies done on like some of the plants um, <clears throat> that you can go out there and read again like uh, uh, some of the more famous books that I've read like Culpepper just makes some some claims that just cannot be scientifically backed up so I don't like talking about those but medicinal mushrooms there has been especially in recent years a lot of scientific studies done on them that I've read that really um, back up the claims that have been made for century even millenn millennia actually you know the, these you know, medicinal mushrooms have been used for millennia for things like consumption, which we know now to be uh, tuberculosis. Amadou mushroom would be what I'm talking about as far as that goes. And scientifically, we can back that up as well. We're starting to see studies that, you know, those mushrooms can be uh, shown to have great attributes in those uh, areas. <clears throat> Turkey tail, in fact, they're in recent studies pretty much everywhere you go. And the only reason why I know this is because of my brother. Um, unfortunately he passed away from cancer and uh, during chemotherapy we were doing re I was doing research and came upon turkey tail again and it's been shown to have tremendous benefits for people that are going through chemotherapy you know post pre during and post chemotherapy so I mean I encourage you guys to go out there and do your own research but for me this from the past 10 years of me researching mushrooms and, and things like that they've the knowledge out there absolutely blows me away. So it's just something to absolutely be interested in. There's mushroom clubs all throughout the, the country. Those are really good to get into. Some very knowledgeable people that are involved with that as well. And you know, there's tons of books out there. There's tons of people to, to call that are usually more than willing to help you guys out with you know identification. Um, you guys can send me pictures as well, and uh, like always, people send me plant pictures, people send me mushroom pictures. I will do my best to help out however I can. I can't, sometimes I can't give you a 100% identification, so I don't really like doing that 
online with pictures because you know I'm not there I don't have the specimen in my hands I'm not looking at it but I can get you close I can say I think it is this why don't you research and see what you think all right guys well I hope you enjoyed the video I just wanted to come out show you guys a mushroom get some key identifiers going on tell you some of the lookalikes we're going to be continuing on in this we got some several spe specimens that we're going to go through and, and do some key identifiers for show you uh, how to use them um, like I said with this turkey tail I like making teas out of it I like making ethanol extractions I use that daily uh, actually two times a day I use chaga three times a day I use amadou two times a day turkey tail two times a day etc etc we'll go through that sometime in another video but I hope you enjoyed the video if you did Click like down below and subscribe if you already haven't. Hopefully, we'll see you in the woods. So when I'm looking for a turkey tail, I'll look on down trees, obviously, like this. Like I said, it is a saprophyte. So it gets this nutrient saprophytically off of dead material. Yeah. There's some old dried up turkey tail on that. Uh, walk through the woods I'm not only when I go mushroom hunting mom I'm not only looking for one specimen um, I'm looking up I'm looking down side to side left right looking for plants yeah, garlic mustard may apple all that stuff here blood root should be all over the place but I haven't seen it in this area yet Another down tree. That's not turkey tail. It is a polypore. We're going to get into this in another video. This is a polypore. Some more up there as well. Polypore is a pretty big fungal family.